What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what you're looking at right now is the draft 2018 that's going to be going live Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I'm going to tell you my top three players. You guys can tell me whatever top you have, but it doesn't really matter to me, bro. I'm going to let you guys know where I'm going with it and what I'm also going to be going with for like the rookie premieres because the cards that I'm going to probably name right now is going to be uh, rookie premieres. All right. So, pretty much, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go through some of the things that I look for in the players in Madden 18 and how it compares to, uh, you know, what's going on right now with the college players themselves. Now, my top three right now that I'm going to be looking to get, Saquon Barkley, Derwin James, and uh, Baker Mayfield, all right? So you got Saquon Barkley coming out of Penn State. He's, he's going to be a stud, bro. Listen, no matter where he goes, I, I think that they said that the Giants are more likely to get him. Uh, I, listen, Eli Manning sucks. I'm going to... It's very, very difficult for me because there's a lot of diehard Giant fans in my family, and um, we argue about it all the time, right? Um, I'm just looking right here to make sure that there's no item sets yet, but it's coming Thursday, so I'm just checking the item sets because sometimes EA will put out, like, you know, whatever, like a, um, a little demo thing showing you what's actually going on, something like that, but don't worry about that. Uh, it's not there yet. It'll be there Thursday at 8, but listen, so speaking about where they're possibly going to go, they're saying that he might go to the Giants. I think that that might be the best place for him to go, but I also think the Giants need a quarterback. I, I, but I don't like the quarterbacks in the draft other than Baker Mayfield, and I don't know if the Giants would do that. If the Giants, like, I don't know if he's going to be available for the Giants. Look, I don't know what's going on with this. All I know is that I don't have any idea why the Giants aren't talking about drafting a quarterback. That's pretty much where I am with it right now because if you watch Eli Manning, they, they benched him for Geno Smith. Like, There's something going on with that that I just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? It, it just seems weird to me. But that's one of the players I'm going to be looking for because Saquon Barkley, he's a playmaker. All right? Now, when you look at Madden, right? When you look at the way Madden is, let's go. I'm going to go to like a 95, uh, what is that, 94 to 95. And I'm just going to tell you like who he reminds me of. Now, I, I like him as like a Barry Sanders. I think he reminds me of Barry Sanders. Obviously, I'm not saying he is Barry Sanders. Uh, maybe a Kareem Hunt, something like that. But that's what you're going to be looking for, like the like a 94 to 95. Um, this guy's speed is pretty high, though, I believe. Okay, 92. I think he's going to be like a 94 speed, probably. So he might compare a little bit more to Kareem Hunt. Um, you know, with his uh, overall, the uh, what is it, the um, position hero, uh, uh, Kareem Hunt. That's what I think about when I think Saquon Barkley. Now, this guy sucks. And, uh, yeah, like 94, 95 speed is probably where I see him. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to do his trucking. I think he's very elusive. I think he has, he's going to have a great spin move, great elusiveness, uh, great juke move, things like that. But I don't know exactly how EA is going to put it out there. I don't know what they're going to, you know, actually have his attributes looking like. But when you watched him play Penn State, you knew, you know that guy can ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not even close, bro. Like, the dude's going to be a playmaker wherever he goes, man. And I think he's going to be a great NFL player. The issue is this, right? A lot, of the, a lot of the teams, they're not really looking for running backs, and I don't know if you want to take a running back number one. See, that's my issue, because the way that they've uh, declined the way that they view the running back in the National Football League, it's not the same way, so it just seems weird that you would take Saquon Barkley. Not saying that he's not the best player in the draft, because I think he's the best player in the draft, all right? Um, other than that, again, the team that people are saying more likely would go after him is the Giants. Again, I'm going to tell you this, that the Giants need a quarterback right now because if they don't have a quarterback, they might as well put SpongeBob and Patrick out there, bro, to go and play for them because Eli Manning is a, he, he's not Peyton Manning. He's never been Peyton Manning. Um, he's, he, you know, like how you have two siblings and one of them is just, well, it's three of them, but you have two siblings and you know, one of them is just, you know, they have a little bit of things that resemble the, uh, the, the sibling that's really doing it, but he's not really there yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, Eli Manning has always been that dude. Even when he beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl, which is, I, I, it's an anomaly to me. I have no idea how that happens. Like, I go back and I try to YouTube stuff like, yo, did this really happen? Because I watched it live. And I still, I remember seeing Plaxico Bar uh, Burris go for that fade route on the left, what was he, on the left side of the field. And when he threw it, like, New York erupted. I remember that. We stayed up. We had a lot of fun. Um, a lot of drinks. It was going crazy, but that was great for New York. But I still don't know what Eli Manning's doing. I don't believe he's a Hall of Famer, regardless of whatever you know his career has been. Just because those two Super Bowls, it, it's just weird, bro. It's weird. It's just weird. Every like if you look at his career, the dude is he. 
I, I look, man, the dude just he leaves the leaves the league in interceptions on a regular basis. The dude's face, he just doesn't care. He just throw the ball to the defense and just has no reaction on his face. I don't know what he's doing, but it doesn't matter. Let's not talk about him right now. We're talking about Saquon Barkley, right? Now, this is what it is right here. Um I think he's going to resemble, uh, you know, 5'10", you know, whatever. Like, he's going to be like a small, you know, whatever. He's going to be like a a Kareem Hunt. I think he's going to be something like this. He kind of reminds me a little bit more of Barry Sanders when when I see him actually on the field. All right? He got, you know what I'm saying? I think he has all those jukes, the spins, the elusive. I think he has all those things. And I think his card's going to be, you know, it's not going to be that much because obviously it's, it's a draft card. You know, the next time that cards are going to be very expensive is probably like in July when they do the rookie premieres for the cards that can be transferred into Madden 19. That's what's going to get crazy. Remember, these are two different promos. You got the draft promo, you got the rookie premiere. This right here, you're just going to put him on the team and see what he does. All right? So that, I'm thinking Kareem Hunt, Barry Sanders for Saquon Barkley. Now, Derwin James, bro, that cornerback out of Florida State, he, re- listen, if, if you got, just let me know if you agree with me. When you hear his name, when you hear uh, D- Derwin James, what do you think about I'm going to start typing it right now. And I want you guys to be honest in the chat, um, well, in the comment section, were you thinking the same thing? And not because, the, you know, they're both like Florida State dude, but I'm just, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I think Jalen Ramsey. That, that's what I think. Derwin James, I think Jalen Ramsey, like, right off the top, like, yo, that's who this dude is. Like, he's, he's going to be a dude like this. He's going to continue to go on uh, along the same steps. And um, re- he reminds me of Jalen Ramsey. I think he's very intuitive. I think he can make the plays. I think that he has the speed. Um, I think, like I said, I really believe, um, that he's going to, I think he's a top 10 player. I don't, what do you, listen, you guys are going to debate with me and argue and do all kind of weird things. And I, I don't know what you guys are doing, but that's what I think. All right. So you don't, you guys don't got to bash me if, if you don't think the same thing. You're like, yo, bro, I don't know what you're doing, son. Like, shut up, bro. Listen, I'm telling you what I think. Let me know what you guys think. You know what I'm saying? And then we go from there, try to have a logical conversation, but this, that's who he reminds me of. All right. Regardless of the situation, Derwin James, that's who he reminds me of. Jalen Ramsey, I think he's going to be like the same card. I think they're going to give him pretty much all the same attributes because, you know, Florida State, whatever, they're going to just do whatever. EA Sports, what EA Sports tends to do is they like to give people similar cards based on similar colleges and similar traits of cards that are already there. I don't think they go out of their way to like, yo, let's create a whole new thing. Like, based on what we've been getting, I don't really see them as like, you know, those real hard workers that's like mining and stuff like that, looking for diamonds. Like, these dudes are going to find a card that looks exactly like, you know, similar to what it is, and they're going to put it out and change the artwork a little bit. That's pretty much what they're going to do. And I think Jalen Ramsey, when I think uh, Derwin James, so... Uh, I, I really want to hear what you guys think, especially you uh, you guys are the fanatics, you know, the college football fanatics. Because like I said, I look at specific players during the year. I don't watch every game. I watch games for players that I like. You know, Saquon Barkley, he, he popped on the screen for me. You know, Derwin James, to see him out there, that popped for me. And then the final guy who I really, like, bro, I, I listen, J- Baker Mayfield, I, I really, really like Baker Mayfield. I, I re- Like, I really do. And, um... You know, it was very, very hard for me to do, like, for, because of his height and everything like that, who to compare him to. I don't want to go Derek Carr because I think Derek Carr had a very, very bad year last year. Um, and he's been having bad years for a while now. Like, well, since he got his contract. So, you know what I'm saying? God bless that man. He got his money, but I don't know what he's doing. And I don't know what, you know, Chucky's going to be able to do for him over there with the Raiders. But this is this is who, you know, Baker Mayfield reminds me of coming out of Oklahoma. I, th- I think he's a Russell Wilson, bro. I But with more throw power. Because they just they they always they just straight do the one this guy's throw power all the time like he his throw power is always garbage so I'm not really set tripping on that you know what I'm saying shout out to my dudes in Cali I I'm not even set tripping right now I'm telling you this confidently I think this man is going to be more like Russell Wilson in the National Football League I think he's going to be a guy that's going to make plays outside of it you know outside of what's regularly called I don't think he's you know I think he's going to be very very elusive I pretty much you know Russell Wilson I I I think that. He has all those things that are necessary to be a great player. And it starts with his... He, he has a chip on his shoulder, obviously. Like, you know, the guy's a walk-on that started twice. Um, I, I think that he's going to be very, very good. And, he's, and, and based on the height factor, I don't want to compare him to Drew Brees, even though I think he's the most accurate quarterback coming, in, you know, coming out of this draft. Um, I, I don't want to compare him to Drew Brees because Drew Brees... Kind of fits him all the way, but Drew Brees is not mobile. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he's, I just don't really see 
Other than accuracy, he's not Drew Brees. And Russell Wilson, for the most part, is pretty accurate. And he's always doing something else other than what the play, you know, other than what the play that's called because he had no O line. So it was a very, very difficult situation for him to be able to make plays. And I just think that, you know, Baker Mayfield has those, he has those intangibles. You know what I'm saying? Like he has those things that he can do that it's like you, if you rush him off the edge, you know what I'm saying? And he sees the edge rush. He's the kind of guy that will step up in the pocket, that runs to the outside, dot somebody on the post. Like he's that type of dude. And I think that he's going to be very successful in the league, regardless of what happened with him, you know, running from police, all that stuff like that. I understand all that. Um, but, and, and the comparisons to Johnny Manziel, which are very, very dangerous because Johnny Manziel, bro, that dude right there, bro, like, I don't know what he's doing, you know, but again, let's forget about that. We're not really worried about Johnny Manziel right now because that's, you know, when you think about all his aura and everything that he's been doing in college, that's immediately what you think. But I got to give the young man the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to just be like, yo, it, yo yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, uh, you know, Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel is a complete utter idiot, in my opinion. I don't know what he was doing. And, and ultimately, he never gave the Browns fans what he could have because he didn't really appreciate what he was able to um, get himself into being the 22nd draft pick. Like the Browns didn't even want him. He's texting people and then he gets drafted and then he goes out there and does that. that and that's why the Browns are really, really where they are right now. Hugh Jackson will probably be fired this year, but that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is I would love Baker Mayfield to go to the Jets. Okay. Because the Jets right now, bro, last year, I, I had no idea they would be able to do the things that they did and they did it. So defensively, I think that they're going towards the right, you know, they're going down the right path. And um, I think Baker Mayfield, ba Baker Mayfield would add something great to that organization. Even though it's the New York life, New York life is crazy, bro. But we're the city that never sleeps. So um, there's always something going on in New York City. But I think that he would probably be a good fit there. Or New York Giants. I don't care. We, we'll take him in New York. Whatever, bro. Because I think that he's going to be a great player. And those are, those are my top three players. Now, you guys, let me know what your top three is. Like, I don't care. Like, you don't got to list all quarterbacks, all running backs, all corners. I don't care. If it's a DN, whatever it is, they got some top guys that are DNs and stuff like that. These are my top three players that I'm looking for once it launches on Thursday. Who are you looking for? That's what I'm trying to find out, all right? Feel free to leave it in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Let's chop it up. Let's talk about it. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Let's go with a video view goal of about 10,000 views. Until next time, one love.